Hi guys, Kiv vs. World here. And I'm going to be planting some aquatic plants in uh, in this pot here. So basically what I did is I put that um, garden fabric in here and I hot glued it around the side. And I'm putting this in a... F in sorry, I have the hiccups. I'm putting this in a fish tank that has no fish. So it'll be okay to use the hot glue and I don't think hot glue would harm fish anyways. I'm pretty sure it's not non-toxic. So basically what I did is I moistened this and I got some plants from my fish tank, stems that I cut, and some little plantlets that I pulled out to make a bit of room in some of my other tanks. So basically, I'm just gonna get a screwdriver and I'm going to start planting these. So this is green kabamba, and this, I'm not sure what this is. It kind of, don't, I can't remember what it was called. It said what it was called at the store, but I don't remember. I don't know, I never really pay, paid attention to the aquatic ones. I can name plants. It's not aquatic ones. I can't remember any everything, so yeah. So I'm just gonna actually before I do this, I'm gonna add um. Maybe I'll put this in first since it has um roots on it. It will need a bigger hole, so it'll be hard to put the pea gravel in once I have the plants. But the reason I'm using the pea gravel is basically not any major reason. It just helps the water not to cloud up because it'll stop this from leaching in. This is an aquatic pond soil. Okay, I'm gonna get some of the rocks. Okay, so I'm going to do the kabomba on one side and that other stuff. Oh, actually, I think I know what what these what these are. I think it's Ludwigia or something. Something don't don't something like that. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I know there's something called that, and I think that might be what it is. So this it was one of the plants, but never really took root. Has a couple roots, but not much. Sorry, I have hiccups today, and I don't know why. I'm gonna plant the plants first. Just gonna snip a little bit more off here, cause that's that part's a bit dead. Okay, now I'm trying to get into more of the carnivorous plant and aquatic stuff. I'm starting, yeah, I want to announce this while I'm on camera, while I'm making this video. I'm doing, um, or well, not doing, I'm selling some aquatic, or not, <laughs> sorry. I am selling some Drosera tocayensis seedlings on eBay, so anyone in Canada that would like to purchase some carnivorous plants from me. Just let me know. Um, and I will be sure to keep them in stock. 
or whatever. So, yeah. You can let me know if you want some, that would be great. I also on my list yet have some on there, but you need about 60,000 credits in order to get them, and the shipping's going to be $11. I'm not going to give away any of these plants, but if you have, if you live in Canada and you have something to trade, I would love to trade for another type of Drosera or Pinguicula Esseriana. So, yeah, I know it's kind of off topic because we're doing an aquatic plant video, but I just wanted to let everyone know that. Okay, so, back to this planting. I'm going to do all these, um, all the Kabamba first. And then I'm going to do that Ludwigia or whatever it is. So I have some purple kabamba that I might start to propagate, just got them, none of them have roots, so I don't know, but I might start propagating them, and I'm going to be selling some of the plants that I propagate. So if you want some aquatic plants, or carnivorous plants, or any plants, and you live in Canada, just let me know, and I will let you know if I have it. So, yeah. Uh, shipping will be kind of maybe about $11, so it's not going to be cheap, but if you want something, then it's a reasonable price. Okay, so this is kind of a long video, so I know it's going to be a bit boring. So, I'm going to just finish up these after the video. So, I want you to read the description, please, because I have a giveaway and not many people are entering, so I would love if you could enter. And if you don't want seeds, just please share my channel with 10 people and get them to subscribe. And, yeah, so, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And... Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.